What's up, folks? Your buddy Fatal Roadie. Tonight we're going to do the SmackDown review. We started right off with a six man tag team match The New Day versus The Revival and Randy Orton. I guess we're not done driving this train into the ground. That being said, though, it was an okay match. They gave it about 20 minutes. Kofi Kingston hit the Trouble in Paradise on Dash Wilder and got the pin. After the match, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar come out. After standing around on the ramp with their thumb up their asses, they finally get into the ring. Paul Heyman tells Kofi that it's a bad day for the New Day and that Brock Lesnar will be challenging Kofi Kingston for the WWE title on the SmackDown premiere on Fox on October 4th. Kingston accepts. Brock Lesnar goes to shake his hand but fakes him out and gives him an F5. Looks like we're going to be getting a new WWE champion. Sadly to say, it's going to be Brock Lesnar. What the fuck? We then have a backstage interview with Michael Cole and Eric Rowan. I really don't know where he was going with this, but he says that he's not going to be disrespected by the WWE. We go on to our next match, Ali versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Sami Zayn's with him, and guess what? He's got a microphone. I agree with Tom Phillips when he said that The Undertaker should have finished the job last week. Sami Zayn runs his mouth for a minute. This distracts Ali. Nakamura attacks, beats him down, and gives him a Kinshasa. So it's a no contest match, because it didn't happen. We then cut out to the crowd where Kevin Owens is walking through the crowd to a seat. Then we go backstage where Shane McMahon is getting served papers. Shane McMahon comes out with a bunch of security. Invites Kevin Owens into the ring, and apparently Shane's getting sued for wrongful termination. Kevin Owens points out to Shane that last week, Shane attacked an official, which was Kevin Owens, during the King of the Ring match, and points out that there's a clause in the lawsuit that'll get Shane McMahon fired. Why don't we just write off Shane McMahon and just call it even? Just get him off the goddamn TV. Then we got some dude named Offset, Ooh. dressed up as Ric Flair, introducing Charlotte Flair for her next match. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair. Bailey is in Sasha Banks' corner. Not too long after the match starts, both Charlotte Flair and the referee catch Bailey messing with the bottom turnbuckle. This is an okay match. Charlotte Flair got the figure four in, but Bailey runs in and attacks Flair, causing a disqualification. After a bit of fighting, Carmella comes running out, pushes down Bailey, gives a super kick to Sasha Banks. Bailey ends up eating a boot from Charlotte Flair, so I'm guessing this is going to end up being a tag team match next week. Then we got Baron Corbin coming out for the King of the Ring coronation. He puts on the robe, the crown, grabs a microphone, talks up his accomplishments, and calls out Chad Gable. And once again, Baron Corbin going back to the, all those short jokes. They're fucking stupid. He's running down Chad Gable. He has enough of it. He tackles Corbin into the throne, beats him down, smashes a scepter over his back, tears up the robe, and steps on the crown, which looked like some third grader project. Then we have Heavy Machinery versus the B-Team. B-Team tried to rally the crowd with their B-Team chant, and the crowd was pretty much silent. This is a glorified squash match. Heavy Machinery run after the compactor on Bo Dallas. And then the final segment of the night, Daniel Bryan comes out to address Eric Rowan turning on him last week. Bryan says that he treated Rowan like an equal and a friend. Eric Rowan comes out, says that he won't be disrespected by Daniel Bryan. Bryan tells Rowan, we'll do something. Luke Harper attacks from behind. As they start to beat down on Bryan, Roman Reigns comes out, passes up Harper, gets in the ring and gives a Superman punch to Rowan. After a drive-by, Reigns is laid out by Harper. Then Rowan and Harper start ripping up the ring area. Harper lays out the security that was out there earlier. As they're tearing up the ringside area, Harper and Rowan lay out Roman Reigns with a piece of the barricade and then drive Daniel Bryan through the commentary table. And with this, we end tonight's SmackDown. This SmackDown was not good at all. The matches were okay. The first one was, all right, we've seen it about 100,000 times. But as a fallout from Clash of Champions, Nah. But that'll do it for this episode of SmackDown Review. Leave a comment down below what you thought of tonight's SmackDown. What you thought about this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.